His body of work includes Top Gun, Batman Forever, and The Doors. And now actor Val Kilmer is being honored by the Dallas Film Society. Find out more about the celebration next on Prime. Hi, I'm Emily Hargrove and welcome back to Prime. The Dallas Film Society has their big annual fall fundraising event coming up just around the corner. And this year is a very special event with actor Val Kilmer being honored. We are here today with President and CEO of the Dallas Film Society, Lee Pappert, and co-chair of the Art of Film, Kate Rose Mar Marcus. Lovely to meet you both. Not to meet you, I know you both, but <laughs> lovely to see you both. Thank you for Simply, being here. We just here. saw each other the other day. We, <laughs> we haven't met before. Oh, come on. I know. Well, we go way back. On the Prime set, lovely That's to right. have you both here. <laughs> thank you. Um, so tell me, the Art of Film, very exciting. Mm -hmm. It is a big event coming up, and you are instrumental, Kate Rose, in putting it all together. Um, yes, thank you. Um, I, along with my co-chairs, Jennifer Hauser and Marcina Stubbs, have been working on this since, oh, gosh, May? Yeah, and, at least. At least, and um, planning and plotting, and we're very, very excited to have Val Kilmer as our honoree this year, and it's going to be at the, the Hall of State on November 16th, and um, we are, we're thrilled that Val Kilmer has um, accepted um, our invitation to be honored at the art of film and um, we're very so, thrilled thrilled is not the word I mean we got Batman for God's sake I mean Batman's <laughs> Batman coming forever. that's yes. right yeah, he's yes. coming yeah and uh, what I, I had some girlfriends saying, who is it and I was Val Kilmer they're like oh and the nice thing is when men ask who is it, I say Val Kilmer they say cool and so yeah. there's a we know that we're appealing to to everyone because we do have Batman yeah. we have Jim Morrison that's yeah, right. We, I mean, it, he's going to be great. We can't. We we couldn't be more excited. I yeah. know. It really. He has his body of work is quite extraordinary, mm -hmm. and you look through his the his resume and you think, my gosh. I mean, he started back in. So you suddenly realize that you think, wow, I'm getting on. <laughs> 1984, I think mm -hmm. he was was his first film. Was it Top, Top Secret? Top Secret. That's right. And then follow so, that up with the great science movie, uh, Real Genius. Mm -hmm. I mean, he played Chris Knight. I mean, who who didn't want to become a scientist after that? I mean. And then it just goes on and on from there. Uh, yeah. Iconic movie after iconic movie. And I think, and then the one of obviously number Top Gun was number three. Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. And so that was the one, obviously, that you know, the girls amongst us really he he stood out. He stood out. Yeah. Yes, and if only did. we had you know, the volleyball scene on clip right now. <laughs> 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 but we don't. I know a lot are of we, people don't. We, know. No, I'm sorry. I was going to say what a lot of people don't know about him also is while he was playing some of these um, wonderfully beautiful. Um, um, characters. He also is a very serious actor, and he was at the time the youngest uh, student ever accepted at Juilliard in wow. our acting school. Wow! So he's he's got the chops. Yeah, he has got the chops, <laughs> and that's what it's all about. And I think that's what this event is about, isn't it? It's about having the chops to be able to talk about their body, their body of work. Well, absolutely. One of the the uh, the mission of the the Film Society is to help celebrate film and champion film and honor filmmakers. And this is a uh, a chance for us to honor Val in his lengthy uh, filmography. There's 40 or 50 movies, I believe, if you look at the, the number of films he's participated in. Uh, and, and it runs the gamut from, you know, from uh, Real Genius to uh, Top Gun and Batman Forever to uh, David Mamet film in the mid-2000s uh, mid Spartan, mm -hmm. uh, which he led. I mean, there's uh, obviously a tremendous amount of uh, roles, a variety of characters that he played. Uh, and here's a chance to celebrate that, and, and that's what we do. And it's uh, the event, the art of film, gives everyone a chance to hear from him personally in a very intimate setting, um, in a in a one-on-one -on -one interview with uh, a moderator, Elvis Mitchell. Mm -hmm. And and Elvis, uh, he's a former uh, movie critic for the New York Times, mm -hmm. so he knows his stuff. So yes. it's not just, boy, you look good in that movie. Mm -hmm. It's Elvis really delves deep into you know some of the motivations and what gets him excited about making movies and and film and art and it it really gives the audience a chance to learn something more and not just you know have a, a cursory glimpse into uh, someone's history they get a really chance to learn what motivates him and and, and gets to be a part of something truly unique and, and uh, hopefully very special for everybody. Yeah, because they, you know, I know that we say that it's an intimate setting for the discussion, but actually it does with 350 people. You think, well, how can anything like that be intimate? But it really is intimate. I mean, with the, the past two years, with, um, there's been John Lithgow last year and then Robert Duvall the year before. Right. And, we, <clears throat> and it does feel intimate because the, the conversation, that one-on-one -on -one conversation is 
it, it does delve deep. Yes, and, and it, the setting itself, the theater, a lot of people don't know that there is a theater um, at the Hall of State down, down in the basement, and it's a wonderful old theater, and you get in there, and it's those, those kind of horsehair um, seats, and it feels good, yeah. and, then, and then you're sitting there, and there they are, right on stage, yeah. and a 300 person theater is not that big. It no, really it, isn't. We're used to the big cineplexes, right. and, the, and so you really are very close to this, this um, icon. And then for those who are a certain level of donor and, and very, very um, lucky, they're going to have a um, VIP reception with him. Great. And get to meet him and have their picture taken. And that will be great. And, the, and there will be a red carpet. Yes, Which absolutely. you'll all be tripping down, I yes. hope. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Red <laughs> yes. carpet out in front of the Hall of State. Mm -hmm. uh, Doing a turn. That's right. And then it leads into, you know, cocktails and reception. The uh, the, the conversation with Mr. Kilmer and then of course everyone will go upstairs and have a nice dinner uh, in the main great hall of the Hall of State which if, if anyone hasn't been there uh, it's just one of Dallas's great Art Deco buildings and I'm a little partial to it too. Uh, I got married in that you building, did. So, so, so I love the Hall of State. So I just as soon go there every weekend. It's, so. it's stunningly beautiful it's, and um, one of my co-chairs, Mercina Stubbs, is an interior designer and so part of her role in this event is um, not transforming the Hall of State, but just enhancing, enhancing it. it. And yeah. I'm very excited what she has planned. Well, she is an amazing interior designer. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. I stepped foot inside her home, I was my jaw was on the floor. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I was weeping. Yeah. <laughs> I had your talents. <laughs> but alas, I don't. Um, so the whole purpose of having the art of film, yes, it's to put the to put this this actor or actress, you know, in the future, uh, put their body of work on a pedestal and celebrate it. But it is what it really is the is the purpose. It's to fundraise for the Dallas Film Society. For for what? Tell us about that. Well, right. It's a it's our signature benefit gala. We do this once a year, and the funds generated from the evening uh, will be uh, funneled back to the Film Society to help our year-round programming. Uh, and and that's an easy way to say that it will go back to help us do what we're trying to do to to fulfill our mission to in honoring the filmmakers and championing. Uh, the art of film, as we say, to to promoting the city of Dallas and to uh, helping educate our, our children in, in, in the roles and uh, opportunities that are available in film. Uh, the funds will help us produce the Dallas International Film Festival, which we do every year. Uh, the seventh annual film festival is coming up in April, uh, April 4th through the 14th, 2013. Uh, so some of the funding will go to that, but it'll also help our education programming. We have a year-round high school education programming where we offer uh, roundtable discussions for high school kids and uh, that we partner with through 41 different high schools throughout the area. And these two-hour sessions are designed to uh, help these children understand what opportunities there are in filmmaking, whether it be uh, how to market a film, how to distribute your film, to how to operate a camera, uh, what is a storyboarding, how to write a script. Right. Uh, it, it's, all, uh, it's not just the, the glamour side of film. Yes, they can be in front of a camera, uh, but then you also get a chance to, there's all sorts of opportunities available in film uh, that piques people, uh, our kids' curiosity. So we, we celebrate that through our uh, funding from the program comes to uh, support the education program. Uh, and then also throughout the year, we have year-round screenings that we're doing in all sorts of fun venues. Uh, our goal is to, to continue to bring America's most approachable art form uh, to the citizens of Dallas in, in fun and exciting and interesting ways. Uh, and funds will help us with that year-round programming and our screening series that we do in fun, different, exciting venues throughout the city. Yeah, and so you yeah. all do an amazing job with it too. Yeah. Really, it Thank really you. is. And edu education is such a cornerstone of the mission, but I find that when people come into Dallas, when the, the talent come into Dallas, they that is what they really focus on, that they want to help out with. They want to go and do the master classes and they want to speak to the mm -hmm. students and, mm -hmm. and you know, because it's, it's their giving back to the next generation. So hopefully, you know, we'll have a few students on the red carpet and hopefully they'll, he'll, you know, Mr. Kilmer will speak to them too. But uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's exciting. Yes. And I think that uh, Texas and in particular Dallas has a, uh, a long and strong history of supporting film. Um, and I think to be able to use these funds to educate children, who knows who's going to bubble up out of that? I know. Out of 100 children or 200 children that are being uh, um, exposed to film and the film industry, we may have a budding star, a budding producer, 
director. Yeah. And that's the to me a very exciting component of yeah, this. Yeah, there is. And there's so much there's so much talent here. It mm -hmm. just needs to be celebrated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have got a very amusing um, thinking about uh, about Val Kilmer and his talent. We've got a very amusing clip that we're just going to watch just for a few uh, a little bit about him and his uh, the seemingly obsession with sunglasses. Okay. So let's take <laughs> let's take a look at his various roles. Okay. He likes your eyeglasses. Carries sunglasses off very well, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so there, you know, we saw the few. We, we saw some of the greats of, yeah, that he's been involved in. So mm -hmm. the next day, on November seventeenth, right. on Saturday, there's going to be like a little mini film fest of his movies. That, What's, that's correct. Tell us about that. Well, we're we're thrilled to be showing two of Val's uh, signature movies the next day. Uh, will be the first movie will be The Doors. Uh, I mean, one of the greats of all time, Jim Morrison. Uh, I can still hear the music and still see him uh, portraying that character so, so well. Uh, and then once that's over, there'll be a, a, a little Q&A session after that. And then we'll show uh, arguably uh, one of the, of the original Batman series, uh, the best one, uh, Batman Forever. Mm -hmm. uh, are the two, and so The Doors and Batman Forever, Forever are the two shows that we'll be showing. Great. So, yeah. And you know, one of the things about um, his role in The Doors, he did a lot of the singing himself. And some of Jim Morrison's former band members said it, they found it eerie and almost creepy because they felt like he was channeling Jim Morrison. Wow. I think that's really cool. That is very cool, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. yeah I, I've seen clips of The Doors. I've never actually seen the whole full thing. So, well, here's your chance. I know. It is my chance. Absolutely. So just in wrapping up, how do people get involved? Um, well, um, We'd love to have them attend. Mm -hmm. um, you can get tickets uh, through the Dallas Film Society. Uh, you can call us uh, in the office. Uh, you can send us emails. Uh, any website. one of us, the website, dallasfilm.org. Mm -hmm. um, that's, you know, any one of those ways, we'll be happy to help you out. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking for, uh, there's individual tickets available. Uh, there are sponsorships available. There's lots of tables available. Though they are going fast, the, yes, the phone is starting are. to ring more and, and lots more coming in through the mail. So mm -hmm. there is still room there. Uh, we also are planning on uh, making some tickets available to the movies the second day. Uh, some of those will be reserved for the guests Friday night, but there will definitely be some tickets available to see the movies too. Great. Well, both of you, thank you so much for thank being you. here. And good luck with the event. Uh, it will be one not to miss. So thank everybody, you. go to DallasFilm.org. And um, that's all we have time for today. And we will be um, back next week. But in the meantime, keep us up to date on PrimeTV.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.